Hello and morning year six and welcome to your um, midweek um, lesson in, in English. We're Wednesday, we're almost there. We're absolutely bolting it towards the end of the week with some fantastic hard learning throughout this whole, uh, whole week. Uh, really, really proud of you. You're doing ridiculously good, uh, good jobs there. Some really lovely um, knowledge navigators yesterday as well. Lots and lots of hard work in there and people using rulers, yes, which is incredible. Um, so today then we're looking at using complex sentences to write about our outlaws personality, uh, using those conjunctions, those subordinate conjunctions um, to help us have those uh, subordinate clauses inside our sentences. And we're going to be retrieving some of the old learning so we can finish and create our wanted poster tomorrow. To start off with them, bit of a rewind, which conjunction would be the best to use in this sentence? So I've given you uh, a list of conjunctions here that you can use. Um, so Kissing Kate Barlow was robbed, uh, has, sorry, has robbed almost 121 banks in the Midwest mm, the last two years. Which word would you put inside that sentence? Pause the video and have a go answer it for me. Off you go. Ah, I just took a swig of tea there while you, uh, while you paused the video, lovely. Um, so it's going to be, uh, all I did here was literally just lift and drag some of the words and see if it made sense. Um, it's got to be something to do with time though, because it's got two years in there, hasn't it? So I'm, taught, I'm thinking of something to do with time. So because it's gone, um, after, before, yes, could be either of them, if it's gone. As something's happening, maybe it could work. Whilst is probably a stronger one. During can probably work in there. And then, uh, again, it's talking about time but it wouldn't fit in here. So I've got sort of after the last two years, before the last two years, whilst the last two years, during that, ah, during makes more sense, doesn't it? Uh, like something happening over these two years that has just gone by. Um, so I would have used during in this sentence. And then here, what have I done? What have I done in this sentence here? Why have I suddenly got the blue there? Because I've started my sentence with the subordinating clause, okay? During in there, during the last two years, Kissing Kane Barlow has robbed almost 100, 121 banks in the Midwest. Hopefully, lots of you are screaming at the, at the screen though because I haven't put something in this sentence. What have I not put in this sentence? Everything's the same. All I've done is move this bit over here. Surely, the only thing I'll need to change then is put during with a capital D. Kissing K Barlow is her name, so that K is still going to be capital. So, what do I need to change? Ah, that's right. I need to put a comma there to split that subordinating conjunction away from my main clause. I don't need one in this because my subordinate conjunction is at the end. If it starts with it, then I need to put my comma in there. And then I've still got my main clause green and orange there. Okay, So you're going to be looking at this sort of uh, sentence structure today then. So if I share this with you, we want to think about what crime your outlaw has committed. So I'm going to be using Kissing Kate Barlow as an example. Uh, I might sort of stray a little bit off the truth, though, uh, from uh, the book, just to sort of spice things up a bit. But by all means, it's up to you as to what crime your uh, outlaw has committed. Um, so in your books, if I show you in your books, I'm going to create a table that's got these sorts of headings here. Uh, let me just put the camera on so you can see it. Uh, it's a bit all over the place now, actually, isn't it? And if I just stop sharing, you should be able to. Oh, I don't want that. That's yesterday's work. You should be able to see. If I just put it in there. There you go. You should be able to see that. Excuse the leg on the stand. But this here. Now I've set it out. I've got today's date, got the uh, subheading English, and then I've just put the what, how, when, and the special, anything special about this, um, about this person. I've used four lines for each thing. So I've put the what, counted three, then put how, counted three. And put when count of three special done, and then use the ruler then to draw my my table. And if you notice, I've just created like a ruler width there as a spacer there that we can write here. Okay, so the sentences are just going to go here, and this is sort of like a little planning table for us to get our um, heads into gear, so we know when it comes to tomorrow we can sort of use these ideas and yesterday's lesson as well to then write our wanted poster. So if I put it on the this again i'll keep that in the corner so you can see me doing it at the same time um so what is the crime that uh, uh, that kissing kate barlow has committed so the first thing i did was i just put a little note to myself so this is on the screen uh, on the I'm pointing at the screen obviously you can't see the screen uh, on this bit here all the all the black sentences are just notes to myself so i'm just going to put a little note to myself murder and robbery so that's going to be my 
my note to myself. If I want to, I can underline that with a ruler because it's almost like a subheading-y type thing if I wanted to. And then underneath that, I'm going to try and come up with a sentence around the, the murder and the robbery. So what is it that, and it's almost like I'm thinking now, what would it look like on that? On what, I, what do I want to tell my public is what I'm going with there. So if I sort of show you here, I've done this in, um, in rainbow grammar colours. This is literally the, the uh, sentence I used on the last slide. Kissing Kate Barlow has robbed almost 121 banks in the Midwest during the last two years. That's what she's done. Okay, I could even put a thing on there, another sentence as well. Um, uh, uh, like uh, whilst doing this, she has killed um, seven bank managers or something along those lines as well. If I, if I wanted to do that, because then I suppose what I've got here is just the robbery side, haven't I? I need to maybe put some things to do with the murder side as well. Okay, uh, but then what I will do here is literally just then write this underneath kissing Kate Barlow. Now, the reason why does anyone know why? Um, I put an apostrophe at the end of kissing Kate Barlow's name here. Does anyone know why that is? Can't hear you. Still can't hear you. You need to shout it a bit louder. Uh, almost right. It's because the G's missing. Um, so you don't, it's almost like saying, you're writing it how people say it because it's a nickname, isn't it? So because the G's missing, you put that little apostrophe there to almost say, I've admitted something, I've taken something out, and it's the G that I've, that I've taken out. Um, has robbed almost 121 banks. Is that right? In the Midwest. There you go. Capital letters for Mid and West. Because it's uh, almost like an area of, of America. Almost like cowboys um, live in the Midwest during. That's how I think of the Midwest anyway. Uh, Western films or in the last two years. There we go. And on the screen, obviously, I've used rainbow grammar colours. If you want to, you can then underline these in uh, pencil grains using the rainbow grammar colours as well. Okay. Oh, you can't actually see all that, can you? There you go. Um, so it's, it really stands out, and you sort of show me the different uh, different parts of the sentence as well. So then it comes down to the how bit. Um, how is she doing the, the crime then? Um, so I've put robberies at gunpoint uh, and murder is by shooting using the pistol. And it's just a couple of things I've just uh, I come up with there, a couple of notes. So then I would write that down here in the how bit, a couple of notes there for me. Um, and then I'm then gonna come up with, trying to come up with a sentence. Now I'm sort of rewinding back a bit and I'm gonna come, start my sentence, not with a subordinating conjunction, uh, not with the noun, but the inged sentences the non-finite verb phrase. So I've, I've put using, uh, using her favoured pistol. And again, it's the same sort of um, uh, point, uh, same sort of, uh, what do I mean to say there, rule, uh, the comma uh, there to split it up. Kate, I don't need to put kissing Kate Barlow every time, we know who we're talking about, is known for holding the bank at one point after blending in with the crowd. What do I mean by blending in? Uh, I mean like almost becoming part of the crowd, she doesn't stand out. Okay, uh, so then I would then have a go at writing a sentence in the how bit as well, making sure that I'm finishing all my sentences with full stops as well. Just because I'm writing in a table doesn't mean I just suddenly stop writing with full stops. Okay, um, and then my next one then would then be the when. When it, when is she doing this? Um, does it you know is it on a weekly basis? Is it every day? Um, I went um, a sort of the time of day when it happens. So I've gone with the usually in the late afternoon, so the crowds have died down, um, is what I've gone with there. Um, sorry, I'm just going to make sure. Sorry, I didn't realise that. I thought making sure I'm sharing the screen with you. Um, so that's a sort of a reason as well, isn't it? Because the crowds have died down there again, I suppose I could say. Um, what do I mean by died down? I don't mean they've actually died. I mean that the numbers have, have decreased is what I mean by that. Um, so... Here is what I've done there. So I've, again, I'm using my subordinating conjunctions. So I'm going back to this. I'm pausing the video on this uh, here to have a look at these words that I've got here. Oh, I don't want to move them. Um, I've also then sort of created a compound sentence as well because I've used a um, coordinating conjunction. So when questioned by the local authority, so that's sort of your sheriffs, um, your police, local authority, uh, survivors of attacks claim she chooses to act around late afternoon. So there are less crowds. I'm for that. 
Um, and now I'm thinking of something special as well that happens. What what does kissing Kate Barlow uh, do that's quite special to her? Like almost like a calling card. So I don't know if you link back to um, uh, Home Alone, the the bandits. They call themselves the Wet Bandits in Home Alone, don't they? And uh, Marv um, ends up like shoving stuff down the um, sinks and turning all the taps on, and he calls himself the Wet Bandits. That's like their calling card. Um, so what's kissing Kate's calling card here? She kisses her victims. Um, so I'll put here then that reports uh, claim, so that's when somebody says something, someone's been, someone asked something by the police, claim that Kate kisses her victims after she has killed them, leaving behind lipstick on their cheek as well. Okay, um, so it's up to you now then. You you go on, uh, write yourself a little note, and then your, your uh, sentence underneath your notes, and then fill out this table. Um, and then we'll move on to the under here, the personality then bit that we're gonna have under this bit as well. Just a couple of sentences about her personality because of the crimes that she's then committed. Pause the video, have a go at that table, and then we'll move on. Okay, so hopefully you've done that then. Uh, and the next thing we're going to do then is talk about the, your outlaw's personality. So this only needs to be about three or four sentences long. So just underneath the table, let me just stop that, uh, then you can see. So just underneath the table then, uh, you're just going to write, there we go, it's going to write under here um, three or four sentences about their personality, about what they're like as a person, okay? So I'm assuming they're not a very nice person because they are an outlaw, so that's one thing you've got to think about. Um, if I show you what I've done then for kissing Kate Barlow here, so these are my wow words, I'll start with this first. So I've put calculating as an ad uh, adjective to describe her, so someone who's quite calculated is someone who thinks um quite hard about something that they're going to do and things that could go wrong and they're quite uh, they're good at planning things um usually you use it as in the planning something that's not quite right uh, that you wouldn't normally do so if they're quite calculating person it's because they're trying to plan something that isn't quite nice uh, then put callous as well so what is callous that means that they're not a very nice person they're quite an abrasive person uh, another adjective there and then witness and witnesses uh the nouns either the, these are the people that, that see and survive the um the things that she does okay so it might be somebody in the bank who manages to escape or it might be someone who she leaves um alive doesn't kill at the end of the uh, the bank robbery um so I've, I've highlighted them in red in, in this little paragraph that i put here so you can see me using them so have a go at using these words as well um in fact one word i might have read here is naive now naive is an uh, is an adjective let me put that down here actually oh uh, that, uh, Naive in there. So naive means um, someone who, um, how would you explain naive? It's somebody, someone who's naive is like someone who shows like a lack of experience in something, lack of wisdom around uh, around some uh, something or somewhere, okay? Um, so she's acting more naive is what I put there, so that then would be an adjective. Um, there you go, so I'm describing how she's acting. So there you go, so I'll put that there. Um, so, bit, so this is what I put here. So be aware of this outlaw. So I'm almost like saying it. I'm almost uh, writing it as if I'm calling out to the public. I'm trying to tell the public um, about this uh, outlaw. So be aware of this outlaw as she is not what she seems. This cold, calculated murderer is an expert at appearing meek and mild. So what I mean by that is she's actually a cold and calculating person, but she um, can blend in with the crowd as if she's quite meek. Uh, quite a mild sort of person, quite a weak person, I suppose, uh, person in the crowd. Many witnesses have claimed that she puts on an act of acting naive before suddenly turning into a callous bandit when her victims have let their guard down. Don't be fooled by her beauty as she is no fool herself. So I'll just I counted these. There was only four sentences that I put there, okay? Uh, four wild words, so maybe if you want to put uh, one wild word in each sentence as well, that's one, one way of trying to plan it out, isn't it? And then you can then write out the personality uh, underneath this table. So tomorrow we're going to use this whole table, uh, we're going to use this paragraph that you've done there, um, and then we're going to use all this here about her appearance to then create your wanted poster for your outlaw. Uh, send a picture in of the whole page today, make sure I can read it. Some people are sending pictures in like all the way up here and I can't read it. So make sure that you, if you need to, send two pictures of each of the table and the paragraph as well. And good luck with the year six. Any questions, just message me on Class Dojo and I shall see you tomorrow.